What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris Moore and in today, yeah, we're in the old new dining room. The old new, you like how I put that, right? The old trusty, but new. Anyways, so we're in the new dining room. We're still getting used to everything, getting moved in. I'm super, super happy to be in here. Really enjoying it. But today we got a special video for you guys. And this is something that a lot of people have talked about and a lot of people ask questions about all the time. Well, now we got proof in the pudding. So we got a 2017 GSXR 1000 here that I recently just tuned about three weeks ago with a slip-on exhaust. It had a hot body slip-on exhaust, factory catalytic converter, factory header, all that good stuff, just the muffler bolted on. Now we dyno tuned that and the customer has since then added a Brox Performance Predator exhaust system and a Sprint F185 air filter. Now, that's a common upgrade, but what we've also got coming up at the, towards the end of the video is we have his friend, which he's brought along with him. His friend has a 2018 GSXR 1000, exact same bike, exact same exhaust system. Both have Brox Performance Predator exhaust systems. Both have Sprint F185 air filters, but it's two different bikes going on the dyno, same time, same channel. So we're gonna get to see, was this bike built on a Monday or was this bike built on a Friday? <laughs> and that's a joke, by the way. Uh, basically what I'm getting at is all two motorcycles are made different. So we're gonna get the tune just perfect on this one. We're gonna get the tune, or we're gonna take that same tune and we're gonna put it in the other bike and see, does it vary? Is it the same? Because they got the same mods, the same bikes, and they're in the same location. But is the tune the same or how far off is it? One bike has 10,000 miles, the other bike has just shy of 4,000 miles. So I think that is gonna make a difference. Plus two, we wanna show you the horsepower difference from the Brox Performance slip-on. I'm sorry, not Brox Performance. It was a hot body slip-on to a full system. Now, so far we are not done with tuning. We've just made a baseline pull and I have changed the flash for the exhaust system. So when we first started out with the, basically the dyno runs for today, we started with the original flash that he came here with. Now the customer was complaining, he was feeling dead spots and hesitation and lag that he did not feel before after he changed the exhaust system. Well, the first thing you'll notice, we went from 180 horsepower, which is excellent by the way, uh, for a, I guess you would say a slip on. That was actually surprised me. It made more than I thought it was gonna make. But you can see up here, we're close to the same horsepower, but down here in the mid range, we've got huge increases. So I don't have my mouse and my cursor right now, but I was looking a while ago, that was 12 horsepower right there. And that's at 7,500 RPMs. And as you can see here, the pink line, is when he left his tune was dead on the money perfectly straight now i just threw in a uh, full exhaust flash for this bike to see where it was at that got it decently close we made the 181 but we're we're lean in a lot of places so we've got to go back and retune this bike get it fully dialed in i'm going to predict about 183 184 let's see how close i am but we're gonna, at the end, we're gonna pull up this line and we're gonna pull up his final line and we're gonna see how much differences that full exhaust system is really worth. Now, for those of you who are interested in possibly buying a full exhaust system, I personally have quite a few of them in stock, Brock's Performance. Whether you want the Alien Head, the Pentacarbon, the Alien, uh, I'm sorry, the Predator, whichever one you want, we have quite a few of them in stock. And today we're gonna show the exact differences on my dyno of what the gains are worth from going from the slip-on to the full system. Stay with us, guys. Here we go, guys. Hey, you guys are gonna be so happy I'm sitting on the bike. <laughs>
just finished up the final pull on the GSX-R1000 that had the slip on. So I wanna take a second and show you the gains. For those of you who have been wondering, is a full exhaust system worth it or am I better off just to save the, let's just say thousand bucks and buy a slip on? Well, this right here is proof. Okay guys, we're at 7,400 RPMs. We've got a tuned air fuel ratio. We went from 94 horsepower to 110. That's a gain of, if my math is correct, 16. Okay, we went from 92 to 105. We went from 98 to 113. Uh, let's zoom ahead to 9,000. We went from 129 to 138. These are all huge gains, guys, that you're gonna see and feel everywhere. Now, we went from 180 to 182 on the top end, which doesn't sound like a huge gain, but in real life it is, and I'm gonna show you why here in just a second. So we went from 175 to 178 at 13,800 RPMs, and you see basically virtually the same air fuel ratio, okay? Uh, out here we went from 173 to 177, 171 to 175, but I wanna show you something else I'm gonna to have to have both hands. I'm gonna set my thing on the tripod here and I'm gonna do display run conditions. Since we didn't do this thing on the same day, uh, it's not showing us, um, I'm not gonna say all the gains that we truly got. So we went from an 87 degree day on the slip on tune with 19% humidity to 96 degrees and 30% humidity. So not only did we gain horsepower, gain everything, we also gained or got worse conditions. Now, now we're gonna turn on the torque and I'm gonna show you the torque differences. Now, a lot of people <laughs> complain because I never show torque and it's not that we don't do it or tune to it. It's just that I always forget to display it and I do apologize about that. So we went from 67 to 77.96. That's, oh man, drop the keyboard. So anyways, uh, 77.96, that is virtually 78. And that is huge gains in the torque department. 67 to 78. And then even out here, we went from 75 to 80, so that's five horsepower, or five foot-pounds of torque. That's at 9,200 RPMs. And then if we roll out here to the very, very end, we went from 66 to 68. So all these are huge gains, but right there, 67 to 75, and all this is at 7,500 RPMs. So it's 7,500 to 8,000 RPMs, this thing really, really comes to life. So once again, check us out. Get yourself one of these full exhausts if you do not have it already. But now we're gonna open the door, we're gonna wheel this one off, and we're gonna put this one on the dyno. Once we put this one on the dyno, this one has the exact same modifications, exact same exhaust, exact same air filter, exact same bike, exact same type of fuel. We're gonna dyno this one unflashed, then we're gonna flash the ECU. Another thing to point out, exact same tires. So now we don't have any variables with different tires, different things. Both of them have the exact same. These are twins. So these are besties. These guys are besties. Look at them, look at them. They're out there smiling, cheesing. They, they besties, they happy. So anyways, let's see what they can do. All right guys, here we go. We got the second bike loaded on the dyno. We got it all warmed up. We're about to make the baseline pull. Remember, bone stock untouched ECU, exact same Brox Performance Predator exhaust, exact same Sprint F185 air filter, exact same tires. They said they even filled up at the exact same gas station. Dude, these guys are talking trash too. They're saying the blue bike is gonna make more than the black bike. The black bike is gonna make more than the blue bike. It is gonna be inner. Look, they're dying to know out there. They're out there watching. So anyways, we're about to fire this thing up and see what it's got.
We just finished his baseline pull. Wow. Let me shut the door. Hold on a second, guys. So you can see the tire is still turning. Just finished the pull. Now we can see a little better. This thing made 155 horsepower. Exact same modifications as the bike we just took off. You can see it goes to 11,000 RPMs and the horsepower declines. That is where Suzuki closes off the throttle plate. So basically this bike has a governor on it. Is that all it's got in this configuration? Yes. Is that all it's gonna have here in just a few minutes? Nah, dog. We fix to wake this thing up. We gonna bring it to life. Let's see what happens. Let's get ECU out right now. For those of you who have this exact same motorcycle at home, no matter what exhaust system you have, send me the ECU. It's a must. You gotta do it. It only costs you 200 bucks to mail it in, get it flashed, get all your restrictions taken off. Get the horsepower that you paid for to start with. Watch and see. First pull on the black bike with the ECU flash. We had a 155 baseline. Let's see what we make now, guys. You can see the difference. We went from 148 to 168. So big gains. We're not done yet. So far, the blue bike is El Champion. Look, he's out there texting his buddy right now. Like, he, this is blue bike, this is black bike. They, they're, they're talking trash out here. They got money on the line. Let's see what I can do for the black bike guy. the tune on this thing we have got run number one pulled up and run number 16 with the final tune so 155 is what we started out with you can see huge gains throughout the power band let me get my mouse here keyboard and try to operate this thing for you so you can see here we went from 147 to 177 so that's a gain of 30 horsepower guys 30 horsepower this is just from an ecu flash and tune this is how much restriction these bikes have in them from the factory 
So you can see we made 155, but where we made 155, we went up to 161. Okay, so the, the 155 to 161, yeah, that's still a huge gain. That's six horsepower. But the main thing is, from the factory, the Suzuki ECU slams on the brakes. 11,000 RPMs, it says, uh-uh, no more. And it starts to reduce the throttle back. Well, then we go in and open it up with the More Mafia ECU Flash. You see we went from 178 to 146. Huge, huge power gains. Awesome, awesome results out of this Flash. Now, this bike, 178. The other bike, 182, guys. Exact same motorcycle, exact same air fuel ratio, exact same tire just two different machines why is that well the world may never know uh we're going to overlay those right here and show you the differences between the two now this is the blue bike uh it is blue just like to me and then the black bike is the red line and you can see just everywhere the blue bike makes a little bit more horsepower now the blue bike has 10,000 miles on it the black bike has 4,000 miles on it could it be the way they broke them in could it be how many miles are on the bike could it be the type of riding conditions that they normally put them through uh who knows um we do know that they are the exact same motorcycle they are the exact same exhaust. They are the exact same air filter. They are the exact same tires, but they are two different bikes. One made 182, one made 178, one made 89, I'm sorry, 81 foot pounds of torque. The other one made 79. So that goes to show you that all bikes are built different from bike to bike. That does not mean this is a bad bike. He may be in need of spark plugs. He has the original spark plugs in it, the other owner says he has the original spark plugs. So could his spark plugs be worse than the other guy's spark plugs? Yeah, they definitely could be. There's a lot of variables, a lot of things come into play. All we know is that they're leaving out of here with more horsepower than they came with. As always, guys, we appreciate you watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. One more thing before we end. Shout out to this guy, Bike Life Species Clothing, all the way from Holland. Sent More Mafia a free gift to this t-shirt. Actually, he sent me a bunch of clothes. Appreciate you. Shout out to the Species Clothing. I hope I pronounced it right. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give us a good old thumbs up. As far as these guys, look at them. They're happy. They're glad they made the nine-hour ride all the way from Tampa, Florida. All right, guys, that's it. See you.